Hello, I'm Ken Singh, and this is another lesson on advanced gear about form and uh, output for NC. We thought the last one was the last lesson for this series, but uh, we have one more to go. The bomb production gadget is found under documents bomb template. Advanced gear comes with some of its own template which you can modify to suit your need. Let me select the material list. This will gather all the parts in our project and create a list of material. This is a relatively small project and you can see that it has created 4 pages of material output. Using export, we can save the bill of material into a document that we can share with others. Using the save button, this allows us to save the document into our advanced gear document manager. If we now go into document manager, you can see that the bill of material that we saved earlier is now part of the bill of material documents. You can review the bill of material or update the bill of material when required. Next, we will look at the output of NC file for plate and tube cutting. Let's take a look at the NC file configuration. In the NC file, we are going to use the DSTV standard, which is the steel industrial standard for communication between CAD and the fabrication machine. The DSTV format is what we recommend to use with the NC machine. We will show you how to export this DSTV file as well as to look at how we can make use of this DSTV file. Let's select the NC export now. The DSTV format is a better format to use for fabrication. It gives you properties about the plates and beams that we actually export. Let's go to the document manager to look at the NC file that is exported. These are ASCII text files. You can see the NC file produced for every individual part. And you can review the parts in the document manager. Now let's see how we can make use of the DSTV file. We start our 2D cutting application called Alma at Cut. And this allows us to import the DXTV file that we actually exported in advanced here. Besides the 2D geometry of the part, that card has also extracted out the quantity, thickness, and material from the DSTV. We can see that that card has separated the parts into three different sizes. And now we are based on these three different sizes and our stock material to create nesting for the parts. We can set up the nesting configuration and we are ready to do an automatic nesting of the parts. That part allows us to use as much time or as quickly as possible for the nesting. The more time we use, the best nesting we can get. But for this case, because there are small number of parts, it's no point to actually use a very long nesting time. That's all the nesting done and we are ready to produce the NC. Next, we look at the 3D parts. These are the DSTV file that we produce, and this time, instead of using a, a 2D cutting, we'll use 3D cutting.
Now that the tubes are in the egg cut system, we are ready to cut them. Our raw material is of length 6 meters, so the tubes will be cut from the 6 meter length standard tubes. Let's go into tube nester to do the nesting and cutting of the tubes. Now let's do a simulation of the cutting in our work cell. The beam are lined up together with the correct gaps. We now build the cutting sequence. Let's do a simulation of the cutting. As the simulation goes, you can see the sequence of command on the right panel. Once the sequence is checked, we can generate the NC to be fed to the machine. Thanks for accompanying me. See you next time. Bye.